welcome back, this is Boss Cooper with more Let's Play Diablo 3. I'm joined as always by my barbarian. We've got the Enchantress, the whole squad still with us, including Sultan Cool, who doesn't really appear here on screen. When we last left off, we had found his archives, even though it still says we need to find them. Hope that's kind of a bug there. Uh, I have changed two pieces of equipment. I have changed this so that now it gives me plus two strength instead of uh, plus two intelligence. Well, I lucked out and got that, I should say. I didn't change it, so it did that. I happened to get that. Uh, same uh, magic find on that. I also have changed my chest armor so that it gives me actually more strength. And I also put vitality in there since I figured that would be the best suit for that. Uh, I, I think I, I lost out on... Uh, gold and gold pickup radius, I should say. Okay, we need to talk to Leah. She has something to say about her mother. I'm not sure what I expected it would be like to have my mother back, but it wasn't this. She's different than what I imagined. I can see the toll her mission has exacted from her, just as it had with my uncle. That's not that much information, Leah. So, let's go ahead and move on. Where were we? We were in the archives of Zoltan Cool, like I said. I don't know what the hell's with my objectives. Yeah, I found it. Yeah, what do you know? Go to the terminus. Uh, maybe they want me to walk back in here. I think that might be it. There is something. Well, I, th I think there was something that was said there. But. We already saw it, so we are ready to move on. Looked like that was something that I could move. Look up there. Statues of Cool's guardians. I think they are... Beyond these portals lie two relics that were once powered by my blood. Take the vials you recovered and use them to activate the relics. I will stay here and prepare the ritual. Be careful. I'm always careful. So, we need to head into... Uh, these two areas to open up that third area. Looks like Leah has more to say, though, about the archives. Even after everything we've come to know about Sultan Cool, I never imagined anything like this. Maybe Adria is right about the Black Soul Stone. You doubted me. How disappointing. He apparently said that from inside me or wherever the hell he is. Let's go to the left one first. Left is always first. That's just the way that I think. Angels are no better than demons. Did you know that they once voted on whether or not to eliminate all of mankind? Only one vote saved us from extinction. Tyrio. It had to be Tyrio. Yes. Whatever else he may be. He is the aspect of justice, and there is no justice in murder. Whoa, holy crap, that is a lot of lag. Hopefully it'll go away as we keep going. There usually is a little lag to start, uh, but then it usually goes away. Hopefully that is the case once again. So, they kind of spoke a little bit there, and that is something that I will try to remember to bring up later. Uh, in, in actually the fourth act is when I plan to bring up uh, some of my issues with, with the Nephilim and all that we kind of stuff. We taught them a lesson. Sure we did. Sure we did. Ah! Kill the construct! It's a summoner. Summons a little imps. I love that there are like ancient tomes here and ancient urns and my job is to destroy them. I care not for your ancient knowledge or ancient peoples. Oh, oh chainmail. I will take that. That might actually be an improvement over what I've got. Uh, because, to be honest, my... Uh, even though I just changed it, it's not that good. It's not that good. It doesn't look like it's going to be an improvement. Um, now I find him repulsive. I cannot deny Cool's brilliance. That actually might be an upgrade, but I will need to socket that before it is <laughs> an upgrade, so I'm going to hold off on changing for quite some time. So we are here to tr still try to get the Black Soul Stone, after all, that is the name of this quest, after all. I think I said after all twice. Uh, this looks like a barrier. It is not. Uh, you can go right through it. And we got more constructs. This time, they are toxic. I don't think it really matters. I will kick their ass, nonetheless. 
Yeah, the lag, I don't, I don't know. I'm not downloading anything. I'm not uploading anything. I, I don't know what's causing that, but it's clearly an internet issue. See? Oh, come on. I have to actually, I, I should be holding shift when I'm in a position like that, because if you hold shift, uh, you can then attack without needing to uh, actually have an enemy there. But it's just a force of habit. Just you should hit the guy right in front of you. I shouldn't have to tell you to do that. And once again, I'm just completely outclassing the enchantress. You can clearly see the numbers there. I think I was doing over ten times what she was doing. Caged Horror of Fright. That's probably for the Witch Doctor. It is. It's too bad I can't really see it because I have the X over it. I, you know, I, I want to see what a caged horror looks like, but no. No. Caged Horror? Not today. Not today. Maybe some other time, but I'd rather see the caged horror. But once again, they don't let you really see that. This is going to be kind of a long area. It's... This is, once again, another point where it seems a little tedious uh, to go through all these quests. Oh, we got two sets of blue guys here. Come on, you... Oh. He, did he teleport right into me? That was stupid. Thing to do. Oh, huh. I forgot you can hit those things because my character usually can't. Damn it. I've been slowed and nightmared. Ugh. Go away. These things, once again, you have to hold shift. You can hit them and they do that. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. I like that. It's completely useless, but, you know, that, that's kind of detail that you would see in this kind of game. And here we have emulators or markers or I don't know what the hell they are. They're giant stone monoliths with engravings of some rune in them that bestow them magical powers. That's why I have to assume. I mean, they're enchanted with floating, after all. Spellbook, I think, is still for the, uh, the mage, not for the Templar. Because there is something right yeah. Wizard, sorry. Not mage. They are upgraded from mages. The, there's still a lot of relics that I need to find. We did find the mirrors for the enchantress. Books! They must disappear into nothingness. What the hell? They like disintegrated when I hit them. They were spell spellbound or something like that. This, once again, this is Act 2 still. It is quite a long act. I think Act 1 was still longer than this. We are definitely towards the end of the act though. I will say that. We are getting there. I think Act 1 was still longer. I could be wrong though. Uh, act two could actually be longer. I thought I thought it was shorter than it actually is, uh, but the thing is that I, I usually think about it in terms of quests, and uh, you can say what you want. Oh, attack speed's always nice. You can say what you want about the number of dungeons. Oh god, not that. Uh, this area, they're usually. I mean, it's huge in terms of, of area and getting through it, and that might make this longer than. Act 1, simply because it takes a long time to get through a relatively small amount of quests. Uh, I don't know if that's a door or what, but it doesn't seem to lead to good places. Nothing down here. We will continue on. There are locks here that we need to unlock, as you might imagine, so that we can get... Uh, wow. Wow. She went ahead and killed it. Nice, nicely done. Those things don't have nearly as much HP as I would think they would. Life. Technically, they're life points, I think, in this game. Not health. Life. Life. Yeah, uh, I think everybody knows I what I mean, help though. All men become Nephilim and ushered in a golden age. But my Herodric brothers could not accept man's true destiny. Okay, so that raises uh, more issues on, on Nephilim's. Hunter's Journal number five. We will seal the Shadow Locks with vials of his blood, and we will hide the blood in the desert under eternal guard. I can only hope that the world does not forget who's evil 
and his blood remains undisturbed beneath the shifting sands. So what Zoltan Cool said there, because that wasn't really that new for information, what Zoltan Cool said was that not every human is a Nephilim, but he could have turned every human into a Nephilim. Uh, don't, I mean, this is something, once again, that they haven't really explained. <laughs> Alright, let's open up the lock. We might as well. I don't think anything spawns because of this. I don't understand. It, it looks really cool, but why would it have to break off? Well, it's unlocked, so that's probably why. I mean, here they lock up, so... Yes, her sisters. Uh, there is some story about her sisters. There, there is something there that I really have been cutting out. Uh, her sisters were supposed to have uh, made it. This takes us back to the terminus, so I will head back here eventually, maybe. Oh, okay, that was a random checkpoint. Uh, her sisters were supposed to have come with her into, you know, what is to her the future, or what was the future to her, uh, but they didn't make it. Okay, so she's uh, kind of getting revenge for them. The ancients grant me strength. Nice, level 25. I bet this is a good one. What are you going to give me? A uh, weapon throw, ricochet. Mm, no, I don't care about weapon throw. Call of the ancients. These gates are yes. treacherous. They keep us out. And they also keep Cool's wards inside. Seismic slam rune and a revenge rune. Oh, this is... This is looking like a good level. No passives? No passives. Okay. Let's take a look at the skills. As you can see, there's a ton of them. So, let's look at here. I, ha I can get something new for Seismic Slam. Uh, increases the damage and knockback distance. I'm not a big fan of knockback distance anyway. So, what else do we have? We have a Revenge, Best Serve Cold. Increases your critical hit chance. Gain Fury and Life. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to, no, we're going to stick with that, because I, I like getting the life back, and then the fury back is also nice. Uh, tactics, weapon throw, you actually get achievements for using weapon throw, that's how bad it is. Uh, now you can ricochet it off of enemies. Well, got a pop-up from an ad blocker, so I had to get out of Diablo because it crashed after I tried to get back in. So where were we? We're looking at weapon throw, weapon throw. No, it sucks. You get an achievement if you use that. So no, I don't use it. I will be changing to Call of the Ancients. Summon three ancestral heroes to fight alongside you for 15 seconds. That's a damn good one. I will be using that instead of Earthquake. I'm not a big fan of Earthquake because it's so directional. Uh, Call of the Ancients, however, uh, you might recognize the Ancients uh, when I do summon them. Uh, I won't spoil who they are, but they're, they're from Diablo too. Uh, we, I'm, I'm just gonna clear out these last three There's little areas, and then uh, we will leave. Uh, I, because I didn't get a chance to fully explore uh, the rest of this area, uh, but now that I had to restart Diablo three, the entire map is. Uh, reset and not filled in at all, and I don't want to go through the whole I thing again. I cannot deny Kool's brilliance. He is quite brilliant. Uh, so I'm just going to clear out this and assume that it w it's uh, roughly the same amount of treasure and loot that I could have gotten by going through the other areas that I can no longer go through. Is this the way for? Is this the way back? Did they change the map on me? I think they did, so I'm gonna start heading back now. I hate having to reset. It really does suck in a game like this. We are now level 25, though, which has opened up more for us to craft at the blacksmith shop. I have decided that I'll, I'll stop at level 30. 30 is going to be the max for me when it comes to crafting level 30 stuff uh, from, from the blacksmith because anything higher than 30 uh, or thereabouts is on nightmare difficulty at the lowest. Uh, well, it's supposed to be. But, of course, the way that this works because I have beaten... Uh, well, not beaten nightmare, but I have made it to nightmare difficulty uh, that has unlocked this 
all his stuff for me here, which I'm not a fan of. Not a fan of the transferring between characters, really. I understand it, but at the same t point, I, I should have to do it again. I, I think I should. I understand that would seem a little tedious to have to do that for each and every character, don't get me wrong, but I've, I've never been a fan of having, you know, 20 characters or, or however many. I think it's unlimited. No, there's five. There's five characters that I can do, but of course I can delete them at any time. <laughs> and then start a no another one. I will probably won't ever get to five. I think the idea is one of each class. All right, so we have opened up that shadow lock. I got the cutscene again. You have anything to say while I'm here? No? Okay, so let's move on to the storm halls on this side of the terminus. You have anything to say when I spawn here? Cool? Nothing. All right, I'll move on then. Uh, this place can be quite big. No, now you have something Come to say. Come now. You must be impressed by all of this. Where have you been that could compare? The World Stone Chamber at Ariat Summit. My people were the guardians. Oh, well then. <laughs> so, my character has been to the Ariat Chamber where the world, world Stone was. That was the end of the Diablo 2 expansion. Um, you probably remember that kick-ass cutscene with Tyrael at the end. Oh, crap, when he destroyed it? Yeah. I, I, I forget that I can actually spoil Diablo 2 because the game has clearly spoiled it already. But yeah, when he destroyed it, that was there. Um, I have heard the theory that the Barbarian here is actually the same Barbarian uh, that you could have used in Diablo 2. So that my Barbarian would have been the same one that defeated all the evils and all that kind of stuff in Diablo 2. I'm not sure how I feel about that theory because I don't think it holds that much weight, uh, but, there, but there is a theory that goes along those lines. Uh, because my Barbarian hasn't really mentioned that he did that, and I, I kind of felt like the intro kind of hinted that he had never left his hometown, that he had just been in his hometown kicking ass and taking names, and then he left to find the star. You know, but... I guess it's possible for him to have been the same by I guess that is Still recharging. a possibility. And I can't, taste your fear. can't necessarily disprove it. Uh, I haven't paid that much attention to... Well, I have paid attention to the plot and what everybody says and all that kind of stuff, but not enough to be able to quote offhand the disproof for that. Uh, but I, I don't think that's right. It doesn't sound right, I should say. But that does raise the question that I will raise later, which is what makes my character so special that he gets to be the Nephilim, but really you could say that about any hero. I'm healed. How is it going poorly? Sure, I had like half HP, but I'm fine. Don't worry about it. We're... Don't worry. We'll make it, Enchantress. We will make it. But they haven't really given any sort of reason why my character is so much more powerful and started so much more powerful than anybody else. Usually in a, in a game like this, uh, you have to build your character up slowly and they kind of start out the same level as everybody else. And if you do start you know, more powerful than everybody else, there's usually a reason for that that will be revealed as you go through the plot, or maybe it's revealed up front, like uh, Devil May Cry. You know, your character is more powerful than everybody else, and they tell you why right up front. As or as opposed to you know, like Final Fantasy, where occasionally uh, you won't find out why everybody's so powerful until later on. Sometimes they just say right up front, "You're the Warrior of the Light," therefore you, you know you've been chosen by the crystal. But this game, they didn't really go over why our character is this powerful other than oh he must be the nephilim well what makes him the nephilim what makes the nephilim so powerful they mm, they've kind of missed that i think maybe maybe i've just missed that that is always possible but i feel like the game has not really said why they did you did hear that though 
Tyrael was the deciding vote. I think that is canon that it actually was Tyrael that cast the deciding vote to save humanity. Or the barbarian assumes that, uh, but I think Tyrael actually says it later. 